Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video, and today we have some very new and interesting cartel market sales, because Halloween is upon us, and so we have some Halloween-oriented sales, and actually the reason I'm putting up this video is because it's a great, absolutely great time to make millions of credits, because some of these sales are really, really good. Uh, so getting right into it, the first two things you might see is the Walker Trickster and the Trick or Treat Chamber. Uh, now this one's actually a platinum level item and the walker trickster is gold and you know you might be thinking to yourself this is a good time to buy this stuff honestly this is very very halloween oriented i don't think they sell too well at least that's in my opinion i haven't really tried to sell them but i wouldn't focus on these two things even though they're the kind of the two things you might think would be the best things to buy off the cartel market in my opinion they're not i really like the statue of the agonized and i've talked about this particular decoration in two previous videos when i talked about making millions of credits off the cartel market and i was actually using this as a prime example of something that does not cost many cartel coins it's accessible to players who are just using their monthly stipend of 500 cartel coins players who are doing the whole 1 million credits for referral link click or whatever and uh, players who might be trying to get cartel coins to achievements and stuff for those of you who are looking for, for free ways to get cartel coins, I do have a link in the description of this video. Go check out that video. Um, I, I show some ways of getting free cartel coins. Maybe that will help you out. But uh, yeah, so as I was saying, this is an example of a very cheap item. It's only 150 cartel coins, but it, you can net a huge profit off of this. So if we run over to the GTN here, and we just look at it right now. Now, since this sale just came out today, the market is not flooded whatsoever. So this is actually the price that it's going for. All right, we have to take out that two-letter thing, and um, there we go. Come on, there we go. So only one sale is up here for six million credits. Very hefty price. As you guys can see, it's only two hours left on the auction, which means it didn't really sell at that price. However, the bottom line is, even if you sell it for like, let's say two million, three million credits, that is still a huge profit to make off of a decoration that only costs 150 cartel coins. To put that into perspective, um, Look at packs, for example. Like, if you just look at any cartel pack, the scavenger pack costs 200 cartel coins, and that's on sale. It's actually going to cost 250 in a few weeks. A manipulator pack costs, like, 300 cartel coins, um, and all these packs cost 300 cartel coins. If you look on the GTN right now, people usually sell these packs for around 1 million credits-ish. That's the price they kind of sell at. Of course, some people put it up for higher, but it doesn't really sell. We have to run through these Grand Chance cubes quickly so I can get to the cartel packs. So as you guys can see, Revenge Packs. Now, Revenge Packs were recently on blowout sale, but normally they cost 200 cartel coins. They're up for like 1 million credits. Plunder's Pack, Scavenger Pack is up for 1.5 million credits. So let's just use this as an example. Someone paid 200 cartel coins for this pack, and they put it up for 1.5 million credits. You could pay 150 cartel coins, which is actually less cartel coins for this one decoration, and sell it from anywhere up to 6 million credits. So you're obviously making a huge profit, getting a lot more credits for per cartel coin you spend. And so that is a great decoration to buy. And I would definitely recommend kind of holding on to them and then waiting for the market to not get flooded because there are probably going to be quite a few people buying these up because it's so cheap and putting it on the GTN. The GTN is probably going to get flooded. So I would wait a few weeks. This sale is probably going to be gone by Tuesday because Halloween ends on Monday. And normally we get new cartel market sales on Tuesday. So all these, all these sales are going to be gone by then. And so it's not a long time to really have these up. Anyways, the point is, wait a little bit before you sell them, you'll probably get a lot more credits that way. Uh, I wouldn't focus too much on the Infected Tree or the Ethereal Rackling, uh, just because I don't have much experience with them. I just think Statue of the Agonized is the best decoration out of these three we have here. Uh, the Infected Tree is okay, I mean, if I personally like how it looks, so maybe I'd use it to decorate my own Stronghold if I decorated Strongholds, but on the at the end of the day, um, I don't think it's going to sell too well. The Thranta... The Thranta Trophy sells pretty well, As if we just look on the GTN quickly, you guys will see it sells for millions of credits, similar to Statue of the Agonized, so if you guys want to vary it up a little bit, it actually costs a little bit less. Um, let's go to the most expensive one, here we have the Thranta Trophy up here for like 3 million-ish, 2 million-ish credits. And so it's up there, kind of probably going to sell at the same price the Statue of the Agonized sells at, and it is a little bit cheaper, it's 20 cartel coins cheaper. So these are good decorations. They don't cost many cartel coins and you can make millions of credits off them on the GTN. And as, to summarize, if you guys want to put that into perspective, just look at cartel packs and how many cartel coins people will pay for cartel packs and then sell them on the GTN for only like 1.5 million credits. You could actually get more bang for a buck if you sold these decorations. Last thing I want to talk about is the Ghostly Magus armor set. Now this is an armor set that's not available in cartel packs or anything. It's usually just specific to times like these, when it's close to Halloween, where they actually put this up on the cartel market. It's only 1,000 cartel coins, and if you look at the price it's going for on the GTN, you'll see why I say only. 
it's not very much. Normally, um, it, look here, Ghostly Magus, that's the armor pieces aren't even available. All you have is the complete armor set, and it's for 60 million credits. And this is a very, very nice looking armor set, in my opinion. Um, it's just a very, very good one. Looks very, like, perfect for Halloween, but I think just in general, a perfect, good, perfectly good Sith armor. So, sells on the Harbinger for 60 million. Uh, and when I say sells, it gets put up for that auction. It probably sells for a little bit less, but it's a thousand cartel coins. So even if you only paid like, even if you sold it for like 10, 15 million credits, that would still be an absolutely amazing deal for uh, when it comes to cartel coin or credit transfer. So yeah, those are the new cartel market sales. Now, one quick tip that I like to give when it comes to the cartel market is uh, when you actually, if you're buying them in bulk, let's say you're buying 10, 15 decorations, or you're buying like four or five of these armor sets, what you should do is leave it in your unclaimed items pile. Never claim all of them at once because what you might find is, let's say you try to sell this statue and it's not selling very well on your server. Like people don't really want it or it's selling for way too cheap of a price and you're like, ah, oh, I just wasted all my cartel coins. Well, if you only, if you left them in your unclaimed items pile, you can return them whenever you want and gain a full refund of your cartel coins. So for example, if I went ahead and bought 15 of these and then I waited like a month or two, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go on the GTN and sell them, I would only actually claim one. I would claim one of these, put it up on the GTN, see what price it sells for, see how well it sells, and then that will determine whether I want to claim more and try to sell them. If it doesn't sell very well, I can always just return all of them and get all my cartel coins back. And so that's my huge tip to you guys. Anyone who's trying to deal with the cartel market and buying things and putting them up on the GTN for credits, you should always leave it in your unclaims item pile, only claim one or two at a time, and sell them that way. It takes a lot more time, but, you, you know, it's a safe route. You won't be wasting any of your cartel coins. Anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have good luck selling the stuff on the GTN. And I hope you make millions of credits. I'll see you in the next one.